Sometimes, animals put their noses where they don't belong, and they are greeted with some unpleasant surprises. For instance, how do you think a lion would react to an aggressive, limping dog? How shocked would you think an alligator is when it sees an electric eel? If you want to see some unexpected confrontations, keep watching as we count down 10 animals who messed with the wrong opponents. When you hear of a tarantula hawk or the red spider wasp, the first thing that comes to mind is it's a hawk that eats tarantulas. Wrong. It is a spider wasp that hunts tarantulas. Tarantulas have earned a deadly reputation as a predator capable of killing mice, lizards, and small birds. But the spiders run in fear from the tarantula hawk or spider wasp. The wasp preys on its namesake, engaging in a ferocious battle that leads to the spider being paralyzed with a highly painful sting. Once stung, the tarantula becomes paralyzed within seconds. The condition will last for the rest of its life. The wasp then drags the sleeping spider, which can be up to eight times its weight, to a burrow, lays an egg into the spider's still alive abdomen, which serves as a host for the young. The young wasp devours the tarantula to develop into an adult, eating the non-essential organs first to keep it alive for as long as possible. These wasps have not only worked out how to successfully attack a predatory spider, but also to reserve the best meals for the most valuable offspring. The wasp can decide the sex of the baby by choosing whether to fertilize the egg. Fertilized eggs produce females while males come from unfertilized eggs. The sting has been described as extremely painful. It only lasts about two to three minutes, but it is unsurpassed in intensity by any other stinging insect. The European bison is Europe's heaviest wild land animal. An individual bison may have been significantly larger in the past than modern bison. Bison were almost hunted to extinction in the wilds throughout the early 20th century. The red deer is a large deer standing bold and tall. With its huge antlers, it is an unmistakable symbol of the Scottish Highlands, but it may also be found in northwest and southern England. The male red deer wants to challenge this European bison, and the bison is ready to go. The bison has a size advantage, but the red deer is weaponized with its huge antlers. A clash would be interesting, and I'm not sure who would come out on top. After running around in circles for a few seconds, the red deer finally decides to lower its head and clash with the bison, but it's barely a hit and nothing really comes of it. Before we go on, like this video, pop the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell right now, or the ghost in your closet will manifest itself tonight. They're obnoxious, greedy, invading, polluting, and combative. They devour anything that moves, as well as a variety of non-moving objects. You can hate them all you want, but seagulls are 100% badass. Check out this seagull fight it out with not one, not two, but three pelicans for a measly little fish. The pelican is slightly bigger than the seagull, but its beak is much larger. And at one point, the pelican's brute force gives it the strength to pull the seagull towards it, and the other two pelicans charge the seagull as well, making the seagull abandon the fight and concede victory to the pelicans. Fly, pelican, fly. The strength of a rhino is unfathomable, and compared to them, wild boars are like ants. Rhinos can weigh up to 4 tons, but can still run at a speed of up to 40 miles an hour, despite this weight. The average car weighs around half as much as these mastodons. The rhino horn is a dangerous long horn made of keratin, and if the rhino manages to hit an animal with its horn, it could be deadly. On the other hand, wild boars are powerful creatures that can run quickly. In the event of an attack, adult males canines can cause major injury. Wild boars are thought to be particularly harmful when involved in auto accidents because of their substantial body build. But let's be frank here, wild boars are no match for rhinos, and you can see in this video exactly what I'm talking about, as these wild boars surround this huge rhino, and when the rhino has had enough, it sends one of the boars flying into the air like a stuffed animal you win at an amusement park, and falls back to the ground. Is it dead? I don't think so, but that must have been very painful. While wolves will eat hares and other tiny prey, ungulates or large hoofed animals like deer and elk are their preferred diets. While elk, caribou, deer, and moose are the most common, bison, musk oxen, doll sheep, and even salmon can also be found. While bison are large, they are so deadly that only a few wolf packs are willing to attack them. A bison may easily kill or badly damage a wolf, and bringing one down requires a lot of hunting cooperation. The scenery in this first video is unbelievable as a herd of bison and a pack of wolves run through the snow. The view from above is spectacular, and you just know something is bound to happen. The bison are gathering around, relaxed with the wolf pack fast approaching. The wolves circle the herd to try and unsettle it, but the bison are armed and dangerous, so the wolves need to be strategic. The wolves up their game by harrying the herd, a plan to trigger a stampede and split away one of the smaller bison. But the massive beasts understand what the wolves are trying to do, and they form a circle around their young with their horns facing outwards. It's likely they're telling the wolves, come and get some. 
All the wolves need is for one bison to make a mistake and leave the group and it is game over. But the bison stick together. For some reason, the bison begin to panic and most of the herd begins to run, leaving some of the bison behind. And what was going to happen, happens. The pack bring down one of the bison that will feed it for a while, but the wolves will have to resume the chase soon. To be honest, no canine breed can defeat a lion in a one-on-one -on -one battle. To take down a lion, they must have at least one or two companions, if not more. Even if they have friends, not all canine breeds can kill a lion, especially not this limping dog in our first video. But that doesn't stop it from challenging two big lions, including a male. The lions are so stunned by the audacity of this dog that they don't even know what to do. The male lion looks at the female as if it's asking her if this crazy dog is for real. Check this dog go. It even jumps at the male lion. This dog is nuts. If this lion gets pissed, it will swallow the dog with one bite, and I'm stunned that it just keeps backing up and not doing anything about it. Kangaroos are substantially larger than wallabies, reaching heights of 2 meters and weighing more than 90 kilos. Wallabies, on the other hand, are lucky if they weigh more than 20 kilos and rarely grow taller than 3 meters. Even though there are many different species of wallaby and kangaroo, this is a useful rule of thumb to use when distinguishing which animal you're looking at. So then, how would a wallaby match up against a kangaroo in a fight? Well, let's check it out as this wallaby and kangaroo get into a scrum at this farm. The wallaby is lucky because there is a fence separating the two. I'm quite sure the kangaroo would kick the wallaby's butt if it weren't for the barrier between them. The kangaroo even hurts its chest because of the fence. I guess these two don't get along. Surprisingly, a house pig can get along swimmingly with a family of dogs. To be on the safe side, it is best advised that dogs and pigs be supervised together at all times, and the reason is quite obvious as depicted in this first video. These two are fighting ferociously, and it doesn't look like they like each other. The only way this fight ends without any victims is if someone stops this terrible and vicious fight. Just kidding of course, aren't they adorable? Crows may kill and eat snakes, but they may also die. Snakes are predatory as well, and they can be one of the most dangerous predators. Crows are extremely intelligent, and you can see how this crow messes with the snake's mind by constantly circling it, and once in a while, biting it. The snake retaliates, but the crow is quick and smart enough to back off when that happens. The snake is really not happy, and I can understand why. The electric eel is not an eel, but rather a fish. They have the look of an eel due to their long, slender bodies, yet they're the only ones capable of delivering a high voltage jolt of electricity. They're all top predators who aren't afraid of anything in their natural habitats. Watch when this alligator grabs this electric eel and receives the shock of a lifetime while clinging to it. It's simply shaking and getting electrocuted, and it's trapped. The eel's only difficulty is that the alligator appears to be dead, but it still has the eel stuck in its jaw. How is the eel going to get out of this? We have seen some vicious predators who usually get their way when hunting down prey, get stumped by unexpected adversaries. My favorite was the limping dog going after the male lion. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our countdown of 10 animals who messed with the wrong opponents. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.